Shalom. First and foremost, I give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akarkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word, Shufi and Sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word, Shufi and Sincerely as well, too. I say Shalom to the Akim out there. This is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. And this is from the Jerusalem Post.com by Seth J. Franksman, published July the 31st, 2023. And this was a uh, day before yesterday. I mean, this was uh, yesterday because today, because they, uh, today is August the 1st, 2023. And it reads, Iran slams Israel for alleged strikes in Syria and possible Saudi norm normalization. Analysts reads, it says Israel's recent action in the West Bank has harmed Palestinians and this illustrates that normalization has not reduced the conflict. Iran says Iran is closely Iran is closely watching the reports of potential moves for normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia in a long series of comments to the media by Nassar Kanani a spokesperson for the Iranian foreign minister. The regime reveal has closely it is monitoring these developments. Any the additional Iran is focused on Syria. It is threatening Israel regarding Syria and it is potentially interested in, in heating up the Lebanon front. Right, packed by the uh, Hezbollah. Because you got Hezbollah and uh, Israel got those tensions against one another right along with Iran versus Israel on top of that as well too and it says Iran's far news agency reported that Iran's foreign minister Hassan Amar al-Damani met his Syrian counterpart and slammed Israel's action in Syria we strongly condemn the repeated attacks on the Zionist regime on the territories of Syria and the continuation of these attacks he said this regime the main source instability in the region Amar Abdullahi hint that these alleged incidents will not go unanswered that the regional will not be indifferent to the actions of Israel it's kind of sound like the same similar tone that the uh, uh, the leader of a uh, Hezbollah kind of similar uh, kind of similar uh, traits to that. It says currently Israel has been working to increase tensions between Hezbollah and Israel. Tyran is clearly concerned about the reports of U.S. for an Israeli Saudi Arabia deal. Iran recently mobilized ties with Saudi Arabia and has been working to improve the di diplomatic role in Iraq and the Gulf as well as in Egypt. In the framework of this U.S. normalized the policy of the United States made any effort in succeeding in the normalizing uh, political relations between the Zionist regime and a number of countries in the region, Iran Foreign Minister says. Israel's recent actions in the West Bank has harmed Palestinians, and this illustrates that normalization has not reduced the conflict, it says. Iran is trying to increase conflicts close to Israel. The Iranian regime did not mention that it is responsible for some of the increasing violence in the West Bank, particularly in Geneva. Clearly, Iran is trying to increase conflicts closely to Israel, such as Geneva, trying to sabotage the relations between Israel and the Gulf, and the potential new ties with Saudi Arabia. Salakia for that. It says, taking together of Iran's statement on Syria and the regime are important. Iran also noted that how it is working to increase its role in Iraq and how it wants to discuss the Syrian, the role of the United States in Syria, and also the role of Russia and Turkey in Syria. 
I ran is also focusing on other flies, files, such as the deal with Afghanistan over water and deals with the Gulf states. Iran is using diplomatic and increasing its image in the world, including new outreach to South America and also the BRIC, BRIC countries, because the BRIC countries that have been formed in 2014 and still to this day. Leverage of these diplomatic success to try to harm Israel and key to Iran's strategic today. This is why the regime is openly monitoring Israel Syrian policy and potential a Saudi Israel normalization. Any moves by Radaya to warm ties with Israel will be a setback for Iran, or at, at least this what Tyran is saying to the region. It's the book of uh, the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye not trouble for all these things must first come to pass but the end is not yet Matthew 24 and verse 7 for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places Matthew 24 and verse 8 and it reads the holy scriptures all these are the beginning of songs. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying of this recent news article from the Jerusalem Post, published by Seth J. Franksman, published July the 31st, 2023, from RT.com, as it reads once again, Iran slams Israel for alleged strikes in Syria and possible Saudi normal normalization analyst reports. So with that, Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shai Bashan, Wakar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, who preach the word, truth, and sincerity, and Shalom to the Aki, scattered through four corners of the globe, preach the word, truth, and sincerity as well, too. And until next time, I will say uh, Shalom.